I have a TheraBand here. I'm going to use this to work on some behind the back range of motion, strengthening into that position. So I'm going to take the band and I'm going to tie a couple knots on the end. So this is going to allow me at home to put this over top of my door, coming out of the door. So usually just like two or three knots, a nice little ball on the end of it so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to open the door, throw it over, close the door. There we go, right? So I'm going to take this band if I'm working with my right arm and I'm going to grab it and just roll it around my hand so I got a nice anchor around me here, right? And then this is going to go behind my back. So here I am with the band behind my back. Now the band is going to do the work of pulling my arm up and across, right? I want to make sure as I do this and I start off away from the door a little bit so I have a little bit of tension on the band. I want to stand tall. If this is a motion that's tight, I'm going to want to lean forward. I really want to make sure I keep my shoulder down and back like I'm puffing my chest out a little bit. And I'm going to let the band do the work of just my hand dragging across my hips. And I can go as high as comfortable without feeling like I have to adjust my chest position or feeling any pain or issues in the shoulder. And as soon as I get to that point where I feel somewhat limited, I'm going to press down, knuckles going towards the ground as I squeeze my shoulder. So just to where I get next to my hip, I'm not lifting out, I'm not lifting back, really keeping this close to my body. So it's going to be a slow and controlled motion. If I'm restricted here, that's where I'm going to stop and I'll come right back down and out. Really getting this down and back squeeze of my shoulder as I press my knuckles and really straighten my elbow. Obviously as much as I can, I'm going to let that fist come up or along my back towards the opposite side of my rib cage. You can see I can go as high as comfortable, right? Making sure as I go to this higher spot that if you see my shoulder, I'm not letting it drift into this anterior tilt or forward position. So I'm maintaining that back. And then same thing here, I'm gonna come down slowly, letting my hand just scrape across the back of my hips. And then this down and back squeeze as I press my knuckles towards the ground. Once again, not doing this. Right, because it's going to jam my humerus up into my scapula, which is not a great thing to do. So very slow and control. This is a great maneuver to work on engaging muscle strength and a little bit of activation in a position that's usually stiff. So it's a good, easy position to work on improving that behind the back range of motion.